Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to reset your computer if you cannot launch Windows on your PC. So you can force the recovery mode to launch, uh, and you don't need like an installation media or anything like that. Uh, this could help if you have one of those laying around, it's a lot easier. But uh, you can force this if you turn off your computer, and you just interrupt the loading process when your computer is turning on. So you're going to see the symbol, wait a second, and then hold down the power button. So hold down the power button now. And then let's do this again. Turn it on. Hold down the power button when you see the symbol. Wait a second. Okay, hold it down. And then usually on the second time doing this, you'll see something like preparing. But uh, I usually just do it three times. And that usually works. So there's the symbol. Wait a second. Hold it down. Now this third time, I'm going to just let it start up. Or the fourth time. So it should say like preparing diagnostics something down here at the bottom if it's going to work there it goes preparing automatic repair and then we can just let this go through the process and eventually it's going to bring us to a blue screen diagnosing your PC and uh, once we get to that blue screen it will give us the option to recover our PC reset it uh, you can go to like a restore point or something like that so a lot of different options in here so if it's not working uh, you might see connecting the internet to or a network and just let this load for like 30 seconds. So you can just wait and then the blue screen should pop up. Oh, actually we have to press enter. Could not uh, connect to the network. Here's the blue screen. We can go to quick recover. Go to troubleshoot. And then under here we can go to troubleshoot. And we have the option to reset our computer. Just go there. Uh, and then you can keep or remove your personal files and then reinstall Windows if you really want. So just go to reset your PC right there. And uh, yeah, you should be able to keep your personal files and then reset everything. So we can just choose this. And then we have keep my files, removes apps and settings, but keeps your personal files. And removes all personal files and apps. So probably just go to the top one and you'll be fine. And that'll probably be a lot quicker doing that option. Now, if you don't want to completely reset it, you do have an option under advanced settings. You can try a system restore point. Use the system restore point recorded on your PC. So maybe you did this like two or three weeks ago automatically in the background, and it's just going to reset your computer to how it was two or three weeks ago. Otherwise, you could try fix problems that keep Windows from starting, or you can go to one of these other options. So. Hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more technical videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.